spend time in silence. The more in tune you become, as you, I'm sure you have noticed this already, those of you who've been together for a while, that you're silent, you're quiet, you're focused. And you don't identify with the pendulum, the ups and downs. There's going to be ups and downs all the time. And you keep your attention on one pointedness, your one pointedness, you stay in this place, you're silent, you're still. You don't pay much attention to your own mental process. Your emotions come and go, your body is changing. These are your affairs and then the world is continuously is changing from one thing to another and you're ignorant to that too you don't identify with the world either so you're just like staying really focused And you get settled into this place. Everything else comes and goes, comes and goes. People come in your life, they go. Love affairs appear, they disappear. Friends appear, disappear. Enemies appear, disappear. Family comes, goes. Everything comes and goes. And you just stay in one place. You're just like, um. You don't go anywhere. You don't buy into any of it. You just stay in one place. And it gets deeper. You're sinking deeper within yourself. You're becoming more comfortable to what is the reality of the self, the truth of who you are. It becomes mightier. It becomes bigger. And you're becoming more in tune. You're becoming more sensitive. You begin to hear sounds, you notice things, your vision gets bigger, you can see things, you can see events coming. You may call it you're becoming psychic, whatever you want to name it, but you're tuning in. I mean, look at it from where you are now and a year ago or two years ago, five years ago. And those of you who've been doing the work and look and see your intuitive knowing how it's changed, how, how much more tuned in you have become in comparison to five years ago, two years ago, a year ago. Things have changed. Your fear is starting to disappear. Your emotional ups and downs are becoming obvious to you. You're not a victim of it. You're slowly becoming free from the mind. When your mind goes crazy and all kinds of crazy, crazy thoughts are running through, you 
are able to easily separate yourself from them and be an observer of them instead of be taken away by them, like being in this hurricane. You're expanding. You're aware, there's an awareness. When you're in a room with some people, you're completely aware of what's going on. When you're driving on the, on the street or walking on the street, you go to places, it's, there's a different quality. You're aware of what's going on. You're not sleeping. When you're hearing about the world affairs, you're not reacting to it. It doesn't have the grip it used to have on you before. You're kind of getting freed. This spider web that we were stuck into it, you're, it's getting caught. You're, you're beginning to free yourself or you're in this process. Uh, just be patient, do the work, be quiet, take time, spend time by yourself in the nature, take alone, take time being by yourself, away from the distraction, the noise pollution, the mind pollution, emotional pollution of other people. And then you just keep expanding and things will come. Wisdom comes, it reveals itself to you. The communication with the higher self, the communication with the one, the intelligence, it gets stronger. Okay, I have a uh, comment here. Um, okay, so somebody says, you say it appears that way a lot. I mean, if something then happened, you had intentions for and you got, is it because of grace? Okay, yeah. So we have a question, we have a comment here. I mean, if something then happen, uh, you had intentions for and got it. Is it because of grace? Yes, it's all grace. Everything is grace. The good is grace, the bad is grace. Your intentions are grace. Your desires are grace. There's nothing outside of grace. Nothing ever ex existed outside of God, outside of grace. Nothing will ever exist outside of grace. Grace is everything. And those of us who are coming to awakening, it is grace that reveals itself to us. It reveals itself. It's like it's opening the curtain and it shows herself to herself. It reveals itself to itself. Knowing that and staying in this place is tremendous amount of comfort. It takes a little bit time to settle into this, but as you're settling into it, the more you settle into it, the more comfort and inner peace reveals it takes over your life cool well we're coming to the end of our academy time let me say hello to my two friends from iran hi nice to see you both welcome back 
Hi. Good, Hi. To, good to see Thank you. you. Yeah. Nice to see you. Nice, nice to see you too. Uh, can we talk uh, after academy in person? Yeah, we yes, we can talk. No problem. Okay, thanks. Just yeah. So um, we're uh, a couple of things. I would I won't have the academy next week. So uh, so our next academy is going to be the following Wednesday. I think next Wednesday is the 18th. So the next academy is going to be 25th, I believe. That's um, if you you're welcome to contact me. You can always write an email to me. My email is info at zaratustra.tv. Uh, my social media pages are Zaratustra. 5D, and my website is zaratustra.tv. Um, those of you who uh, are connecting with me on uh, through our system, the Zoom, we're going to be sending you a copy of this video as well as our podcast. Yeah, um, the copy of this video is going to be on YouTube channel. And we also chop them down to 10 minute videos minus the uh, meditation. And we'll re uh, put them on, on our YouTube channel. A copy of this is gonna go on our Facebook channel too. Um, <laughs> it's nice to see you all and I look forward to seeing you in two weeks. Namaste. Thank you for being with me. God bless.